Deputy Commissioner of Police in Charge of Crime, Fitz Bailey, is advocating for changes in the law to track suspected criminals more effectively. The 40-year veteran crime fighter notes the strides the force has made in technology and hopes the work will continue well after his approaching retirement. Here's Ramon Gordon with the details. The man in charge of the island's crime portfolio, DCP Fitz Bailey, wants to make it easier for authorities to track and monitor the activities of suspected criminals. That's why he's advocating for an amendment to the Interception of Communications Act, which was passed back in 2002. Speaking at a security seminar this week, the DCP bemoaned the sluggish turnaround time for information requests to telecommunications companies. Unfortunately, the criminals, they do not have any rule. They don't have the issue of privacy that they have to deal with. But law enforcement, we are faced with those challenges. And I think um, there needs to be a greater synergy between the legislation and the providers. The Interception of Communications Act allows security forces to monitor the phone communication of a person suspected or accused of criminal activities. It also grants the authority to intercept all communications of a person named in a warrant. The DCP's latest request comes as part of 22 ongoing technological projects in the JCF. In 2022 alone, we solved over 740 murders in one year. And if you go to some of the most advanced countries in the world where they have all the fancy technologies, we have been competing with them. The government earmarked just under $50 billion this year for the JCF's public safety and internal security program. A portion of that will go to the force's body-worn camera program. Giving an update on that matter, the senior crime fighter says Jamaica can expect a large-scale rollout soon. We have created currently, we have a data center and we have adequate storage now. So what we have done as an organization, we have purchased so far over 800 body-worn camera, and all we need to do now is to get the cameras because the back-end work has been done. DCP Bailey is set to retire in a few months after over four decades of service. He's pleased by the strides made against crime locally and hopes they'll continue long after his tenure. One of the only fears is that we have to ensure that there is the budget budgetary allocation. It is important that the financing of the JCF, it transcend political divides. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.